a, a, lot, a lot of us have heard so much about the kingdom. So much about the kingdom has been said in the church and is still being said. But I tell you, most of the things that people have said about the kingdom of God are things that people are actually clueless about. They are clueless about, like I always say, there is no way we can talk about engaging the kingdom of God without first having a revelation of the king, without first having an encounter with Christ, because our encounter with Christ brings us to a position where, amen, we are then introduced into the whole, you know, you know, a life and structure and existence and citizenship within, within the kingdom of God. Because you see, when we come into the kingdom, then we begin to have another dimension of existence. Our perception, our understanding, our engagement, amen, to life, to life issue, the way we deal with things change. All right, from the position of the kingdom, but you will understand and you will agree with me that you know the 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 the, the, the way amen, Christianity has been portrayed to us, you know, from you know in the past in the past 30 years i would say in the past 30 years 30 20 years the way christianity or, or has been painted to us amen basically as 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 drawn men away amen from the very life from the very attitude from the very you know uh, 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 you know, definition of, you know, of biblical, you know, Christianity. When we talk about Christ, you know, when we talk about Christianity, we're talking about a life that is defined within the context, within the, within the framework, amen, of the kingdom of God. We're talking about a life that is lived, amen, within, amen, the, the, the life of Christ, within the revelation of Christ, within the knowledge of Christ. When I talk, when I'm talking about knowledge, and I'm not talking about just head knowledge, I'm not talking about just having an information, I'm talking about a life, amen, that is lived out from you know from an experience from an experience dimension so it's important that that you know sits you know you know uh, you know solidly within within the framework of our thought that amen we can only deal with life we can only deal with the complex realities of life amen once you know from the position of having an understanding amen of the kingdom of god because once you begin to have an orientation of what the kingdom of god is all about you see you see your belief system your perceptions are your your your, your orientation to life, amen, your engagement to life immediately changes. Your view, your, your, your understanding begins to, you know, you know, begins to change. But the problem, the reason why, we, you know, today we find a lot of people, you know, uh, being buffeted, you know, being, you know, being carried away and being blown away by the winds and the and you know and the tsunamis that is that is blowing in our day is because people are not solidly built upon the foundation amen, of of true b- biblical you know uh, 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 you know orientation when we say christianity a lot a lot of people amen uh, uh, look at christianity as a, as an extension of you know of the of, of the society and as an extension of of democracy of you know of the humanist philosophy they look at Christianity as an extension of their of their of, of their environment. No, 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 no. Unfortunately, that's not that's not how we, we, we ought to view amen Christianity. We've got to view through biblical Christianity, amen, must be viewed from a position that is that is defined, amen, within the context of the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God is coming as 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 we begin to, you know, pressing into the reality of the comings of the kingdom. We're going to be seeing a, a lot of rumblings, a lot of shaking, amen, a, 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 a lot of, you know, tremblings in, in the earth, amen. And like I said some time ago, you know, I, I, the, the, the coming of the kingdom of God is causing the earth to tremble. There's a trembling. He said, once more, I will shake the heavens and the earth. He said, I will shake shake the very the, the very desires of men amen that will shake everything that can be shaken so that the desires of men can come up to me amen there's, there's, there's a reason why we are seeing so one of the things that i'm saying is that the context of what we're seeing that is happening is not just because okay yes god wants to judge the earth it's not just because yes you know everyone wants to judge you know humanity and judge the rebellion of men no I, I, one of the reason why we're seeing amen all that is happening amen today taking place is because the kingdom the pressing in the coming in of the kingdom amen is causing you know a tectonic order you know within amen the earth there's a movement there's a shaking there is you know there are things happening you know there, there, there are rumblings amen all kinds of things are happening that we, we we cannot see so so we've got to first of all understand that and that has to be very clear to us amen because at the end of the day whatever is happening is to bring glory and honor to god that is 
is something that has to be clear to us. That is something, that's a revelation, that's a truth that must sit well within our heart. That regardless of what is happening right now, that heaven is crushing the kingdom of men. Heaven is bringing down that which men have built, that which men has defined and, you know, and designed, amen, and tag and name as their own kingdom, as their own empire. The Bible says, for the kingdoms of this world are becoming, they are becoming, they have not entirely become, but they are becoming, amen, as we, you and I, amen, begin to walk in the reality, in the knowledge of truth, and we begin to come to the full knowledge, amen, of who we are in Christ Jesus, and we begin to gain position and posture in the earth, and we begin to gain stature, hallelujah, coming into that position of the fullness of Christ, like Ephesians chapter 4 says, there's a church, amen, that is growing, that is developing within, amen, the mess, within the rumbling, within the shaking, within the compromise, within, you know, the corruption, within the lies and the deceit, within the persecution that we're seeing taking place all across the earth, amen, as 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 all that is happening, we're also seeing a church coming for the man-child church is coming, hallelujah, church that are born after the nature of Christ, they are emerging, a new order of priests, a new order of men and women whose life have been branded, who who have been called, who have been, who have been trained, who have been poured from system to system, hallelujah, they've been poured from vessel to vessel, their wine, hallelujah, has, has been purified, amen, the Father has kept this, this wine, amen, for the last, today we're seeing heaven, presenting this order of church, presenting, amen, this order of men, this caliber of people, is presenting them right now, he's bringing them to the fore, he's bringing them, amen, for the world to sing. And so we've got to understand that all that is happening right now is to re- is to reorder, is to restructure, amen, is to realign, amen, the very order and the very structure of the ecclesia so that God can have himself a true representative on earth, amen, who, who will say, amen, that they will not give themselves rest until the knowledge of the glory of God covers the earth amen as the water covers the sea so that's a contest I want to bring that we are in a day we are in a position where the coming of the kingdom of God is shaking everything that can be shaken amen it, it, it will shake it will touch amen every aspect of our life so the days where where we just live our life amen in a condition of slumber we've been looking at some very powerful principle. In fact, today we we ran we, we rounded up. You know this teaching we we've been doing on devotional. Amen. Uh, 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 um, being, being awakened by the Spirit. Beautiful material. I mean, beautiful teaching. I will I will I will encourage you. Amen. To go and you know listen to you know those uh, uh, um, you know teachings. Amen. Try to download them. You know they are free downloads. Download them. Amen. And uh, just listen to them. You will find the links on my Facebook you know page. Please just let those truths sink into your heart. Because there are principles there that will help you understand, amen, how to live life, how to be alive, how to be awoken, amen, how to be, how to be positioned, how to posture yourself where men are sleeping, where people are going into slumber, amen. This is a call. This is a clarion call for you and I, amen, to position ourselves. The Bible says, he who watches over Israel never sleep nor slumber. If he's not sleeping on slumber, we've also got to have the attitude as he is, so we are. We've got to be watchmen, amen, position on the ramp, position on the wall, amen, P- preparing amen for the for the arrival, for the coming of Christ into, into the very spheres of our, of our existence. So that we've got to understand right now that heaven is calling us to move away from that position of being, you know, I- being in a state of, st- you know, of slumbering and stupor and, you know, be, you know, just lagging behind. The Bible says we've got to understand that the night is far spent. The night is far spent. The day of the Lord is at hand. We've got to wake up from our slumber. We've got to wake up from, he said, awake, awake, you who sleep, awake. We've got to wake up from the slumber of tradition and religion and all this ungodly thing, amen, that has brought us to a place of weakness. You know, when you sleep, you become weak. You lose focus. You lose direction. You lose, amen, a sense of presence. You lose a sense of activity. You lose a sense of reality, amen, in, in that state of, you know, you know, slumber. So you've got to wake up. You've got to understand that there's something heaven is doing in our time, in our day, that requires your engagement, that requires your focus, that requires, amen, that you position yourself, that you understand, that you are not, that you are not, you know, ignorant of, of the of the seasons and the time. Hallelujah. So it's important that we set that clear, that, amen, these are the days where we need kingdom orientation to be able to clearly deal with 
the situation at hand to to understand because I tell you there, there are clashes of kingdom two kingdoms are colliding to, to you know you know you know together yes two kingdoms are clashing together whatever is happening either in the political you know uh, um uh, 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 you know, uh, class or in the political environment, or even in the in in the socioeconomic area, or you know, in the in the in the in in in, in the position of of tradition, or in the position of uh, uh, um, you know, entertainment and 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 arts. You know, all that is happening. All the, all the challenges we're seeing today is because the, is because there's a kingdom that is rising. There is a kingdom. There's an ungodly spirit called the Antichrist spirit that is rising within the systems of man all right challenging the kingdom of god challenging the values of god challenging the 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 the, 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 the values of the things of the spirit challenging the authority of god and we've got to understand that so when why we live in a world that you know People tell us, well, we need to be, we, we just need to tolerate this. We just need to tolerate, tolerate that. All right. If it's fine, we can do it. You know, while we live in the world where, you know, you know, people sense, people sense of, 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 of truth. Amen. The sense of their morality is being eroded by all this ungodliness that is happening. We've got to put position ourselves and, and, and realize what is taking place. Like, hey, this is war. This is battle. All right. And, and in, in, you know, in, in, in the days of battle, in the days of war, there, there well, there will always be casualty, but the casualty should not be coming from your side, amen. The casualty should be on the side of the enemy. And therefore, when you understand this, then you know that you've got to put on the old armor of God. The old armor of God first is an attitude, is a template that you wear, amen. These are not just some physical thing. These are dimension of posture of existence. These are these are attitude. These are belief system that you've got to wear. That the element of salvation, amen, is a template of thinking, amen. Is a template of thinking beyond you just being saved and going to heaven. No element of salvation, amen. It, it's 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 a belief system that you have. Hallelujah. The bread place of righteousness, amen. Why do you have all this thing? Because you know you, the, the, the the scripture wants you to understand that you are engaging in warfare, amen. It, that that do, 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 those those elements represent you know a dimension of a of a man of a you know of a person going into war. You are an army, amen. In, in, in you know engaging the works engaging the works of darkness you've got to understand that say put on the old armor of god it's an armor it's not it's not you know a, a, a you know a party dress is an armor is an armory you've got to wear them you've got to put on amen the mind of christ you've got to have amen the the the, the heart amen the, the 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 heart of christ you've got to believe you know that the days that you're living in that you are advancing you are pressing in amen you are you know stepping into new reality new position that your position is not fear that your position is not doubt that your position is not you want to fly away or you want to go hide somewhere no no that your position is not you, you know you're looking for a place of escape no that your position is engage amen hallelujah the forces of hell is engage amen the 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 the, 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 the territories of darkness is engage amen you know the works of darkness is engage amen the pharaohs and you know and the Nebuchadnezzar of, of, of our time and the Jezebels of the time that you engage them because amen, you know that the God that is with you amen, is more real than the God that is with them. Amen. You know that. that so that position of knowing, of understanding, of, of, of believing, hallelujah, of having a true intimate rea uh, you know, a, a reality of who God is gives you leverage to stand. Hallelujah. Gives you leverage to stand. So we've got to make sense of the days that we're living. We've got to understand who we are. We've got to understand what has been given to us as an, as an us, as authority, as you know, as power, you know, to advance and to bring forth the counsel of God. So we're seeing all kinds of things happening, you know, in all sphere of existence but we, we should not be moved we should not be moved we should know amen that we know that we know that we know that the devil knows that we know amen that they that are with us are more than they that are against us so all that is taking place is bringing us to the to the place of the day of the lord so I have established, you know, that point. Now, another point I will quickly, I quickly want to establish as we establish the whole concept of, you know, that we engage this day 
with an understanding that, amen, we are positioned in the kingdom of God and we need kingdom mentality to deal with, amen, the, the, the complex realities of our day. And, and there's something that is very clear that I quickly want to bring out that speaks into that. The Bible says the kingdom of God is righteousness, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit or in the Holy Ghost. Amen. The kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy. In other words,